Hello, Semper Squad, and welcome back to Semper Admin, your go-to resource for mastering administrative tasks. In today's video, we will be covering the index and match functions in Microsoft Excel. Before we dive in, let's just quickly discuss why it's crucial for Marines to understand what this is and how it's utilized. Index and match are functions that are powerful tools for looking up and retrieving data and large data sets, which is essential for efficient data analysis and reporting in administrative duties. So we've already talked about the index function. We've talked about the match function individually. But now what we're going to do is we're going to combine these in doing a lookup, um, which will also allow you to go left or right of your reference cell. So we've talked about VLOOKUP, which is going to be a very similar concept. But VLOOKUP it will only allow you to go from left to right. But this one will allow you to go from right to left also. But let's use this in a basic example. So we're going to start out by hitting equals to tell Excel we're doing a function, and we're gonna do that uh, index. So the index, the first thing we wanna identify is where we want our result from. So I wanna try to pull in these platoon sergeants. That's the first thing that I want to identify. Next uh, argument we're gonna have is we're gonna actually type in that match function. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this cell here to identify the value of the companies that I wanna be able to pull the sergeants from. So I'm gonna use that as my lookup value. And my lookup array of where this value will come from will be right here. And then I wanna make sure I have that exact match with that zero. And then I'm gonna close those out to get my result. So company B, their first, uh, their platoon sergeant is Sergeant Marsha. So there we go. And if I change this to A, I will have the new one for staff sergeant there. Or if I did I, so on and so forth. But if I did something that didn't exist, I'm gonna get an NA because there was no result in that. And again, as we learned, if we wanted to do if error outside of it and say, and give it actually a, a name for like no, no result, for example, we can always do that whenever you have something like that. So just some cool information that we have there. But that was still going from left to right. So now let's do the same thing, but going from right to left. So let's say now I want to do this based off score. So equals index. So based off the score, I'm going to want to pull in the company. So I'm going to say here, look at what I want to pull in. I'm going to do that match function. My value that I'm going to be looking up is going to be here, actually here, based off this lookup array for a zero match. Close that out. And now when I type in here one of these values, we'll see that we have this amount. Now the same thing that we've done before is that we had in here an exact match. But if I did negative one, for example, and we made this 1500, actually let's do greater than for that piece there. So that's when we have the different amounts that you would see here based off those. So it's doing that same lookup. So depending on how we utilize those two functions together will give us our different results that we are actually looking for. So a lot of great strong tools that we have by using this combination of functions together. So before we wrap it up, I just want to point out a few common mistakes to avoid or tips to keep in mind while using the index and max functions. Ensure that the lookup range in the match function is a single row or column, depending on whether you're trying to look up a row or column position. So just be ready for that. Don't use multiple. And use absolute cell references like we learned in our uh, absolute referencing cells video for the data range for a, and a lookup range if you um, plan to copy the formula to other cells. So if I'm, as you saw here, we had a very unique, but if we wanted to lock one of these, like if I wanted to lock this here, that way I could drag this equation down and I would be able to keep that information. But if you notice, these are moving down. That's why we want to lock them. So these references will always be the same for that piece. So that's some good tips there. To quickly recap, today we covered the index and match functions in Microsoft Excel. We learned how to use these functions um, already individually, but now we learned about how to combine them into an effective lookup and retrieve data in large data sets. Remember, mastering these functions will help you become more of an efficient and effective Marine in handling administrative tasks involving data analysis and reporting. 
That's it for today's video. If you found this content helpful or if you learned anything, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Semper Admin for more instructional videos on the Marine Corps administrative duties. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for a future topic. But until next time, stay motivated and Semper Fi.